Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. So in this Motivation Monday, we're going to talk about how to change your diet. And there's a lot of different reasons why you may want to change your diet. But let me tell you my number one reason for wanting to change my diet. Um, I really am focused on energy. A lot of people think that I want to lose weight or stay in shape or anything like that. And while I do care about how I look, the most important thing for me is to have energy and the ability to think and focus on what I want to accomplish. I realized the negative effects that food can have on us when I was in nursing school because in nursing school I was, you know, I needed to focus a lot. I had to study all the time and I found it very difficult to study when I was tired. <laughs> Actually, it's it was for me, it was impossible to study when I was tired. So in nursing school what I found myself doing was I would eat, you know, a hamburger or a big thing of potatoes or macaroni or something like that and I immediately just I had to go to sleep there was no way I could could you know try to read this boring information like there was just no way so I realized that after eating heavy things and you know I think that things may differ for some people than others after eating things that made me feel you know lethargic you know it basically sucked the life out of me and so I sort of went on a quest to try to change my diet slowly because I had to do it slowly because I didn't have the money to do it any other way <laughs> so what I did was you know I've always packed my lunch I pretty much always got in the habit of doing that um, I'm one of six children so I grew up with not a lots of extra money and that's fine we we did we had very good lives for what we had but um so i was always in the the habit of packing my food so one thing that i did to help um, change my diet slowly was i added a salad and by adding the salad it um, gave me some nutrition fiber and and also hydration because the vegetables have a lot of fluids in them so that helped out a lot so I did that for about a year and then the next year I added this like green powder. Back then there was only a few to choose from, now there's like hundreds. So if you like Google organic greens or something like that, a lot of options will come up for you. But back then for about 20 to $50, but depending on the size of the thing that I got, I was able to you know, take a scoop of something, mix it up with water, and then I had a lot of nutrients for the day. So that was like a good substitute and I did that honestly up until, um, up until like three years of being a nurse. So I did it for like a really long time. All through nursing school, I would walk through this like green thing. People were like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, it's like for, you know, nutrients and whatnot. And people would just look at me weird, but it's okay. So, um, you know, so I did that. So I had the salad, I added the green stuff. And then, you know, later on I took the juicing plunge, which I highly recommend. I love juicing. It's definitely changed my life. Even my husband does it and he's, you know, he's a little bit harder to convince to do those kinds of things, but he does it now too because it's, it's that good. But I changed my diet slowly and in me changing my diet slowly, it helped my body adjust so there wasn't really any resistance for my body. And, you know, when I first started changing my diet, I was eating a lot of sugar. Um, I was eating, you know, a lot of carbs and I had to have those to function and so slowly changing my diet allowed me to not want the sugary items as much although every now and then I still want them and that's fine my body wants it my body gets it <laughs> but you know um, it was just a real natural process and um, I know there's a lot of like fad diets out there that you know want you to like just totally change everything that you're doing right away. And I've never really seen that as a lasting solution because there's only so much, you know, for lack of a better word, I'm not sure if this is what the bone broth diet is, but there's only so much bone broth that you can eat before you're like sick of it. And, you know, I just brought that one up. I haven't studied that one, but you know, there's only so much that you can go through before you're like, so sick of it that you can never look at it again. So by slowly changing your diet and just adding nutrients, just focusing on nutrients and adding nutritious food to your diet, then you'll, your body will be in such a better position to accept the new foods, especially if they're one by one, 
and accept the new diet and slowly you will be getting rid of the cravings for bad things and, and slowly you'll be getting more energy and it will feel good because it's something that lasts forever. <laughs> when I compare my diet now to where it was 10 years ago, there's just no comparison. I mean, now I juice. Now I have the ability to buy high quality you know, foods. I buy extremely good salads. I buy all organic, most, I wouldn't say all, okay, like maybe like 90% organic. And um, I'm really grateful for that. But I know that if I had tried to do that all in one day, that I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have gotten sick. I would have you know, re rebelled in some way um, and gone back to my other patterns. So. I want you to sort of like view changing your diet as not your diet, it's, it's really changing your lifestyle and adding more vegetables, whole foods and you know, healthy things to your, to your diet and adding more healthy foods and you know, items to your, to your body, to your temple will just allow you to be more fully there and aware. <laughs> That was corny, sorry. <laughs> but all right guys, um, I really hope that this inspires you to take the first steps towards a better, healthier, nutritious, more vital you. And thanks again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. I love you so much, bye. Let's stay connected guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.